Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Gavin Plays Project Zomboid. I am your host and CEO, that's Chief Entertainment Officer, Gavin900. Picking up here in our battle for Tandal, it's personal. Run. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? Uh, this particular guy, we're at 78 going up, so we lost our underweight, good. Uh, 55 kills, 7 days in. Uh, we got a lot of books read already. That's good. Uh, let's see. Where, this one. Uh, here. There are still several magazines we do not have, including all the guerrilla radios. But... Uh, where's the, yes, okay, good. We did read the how to use gen some generators. Okay. So. And it is raining today. You know what, if it's raining, why don't we take advantage, oh, wait, there here. Let's take advantage of some of this rain here. Uh, we'll grab one there. One there. One. 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 There we go. Let's go get some farming done. Getting some of them fresh veggies. Oh yeah. Boop. Boop. Can you tell it's been a while since I've played? I think it's been about two weeks since I uh, played last. Uh, but had the little vacation. Um, got my nephew uh, graduated from high school. Uh, that was a really nice thing although funny story so my nephew i wouldn't say that he's big but he's not small he is a definite kind of huskier guy um i mean we're talking i think he's about six foot uh you know five eleven six foot right in that range but the dude weighs I don't know I would guesstimate somewhere in the range of 280 to 350 somewhere in that range let's see yeah we'll put our uh, farm over here uh oh well gonna get a little bit of uh, uh, first aid XP here um, but he's a pretty big guy. Well, by the time we got there, it took us 27 and a half hours. Uh, and, oh, <clears throat> 27 and a half hours. We were so tired by the time we got there, you know, so me and my wife, we decided to go lay down for a nap. And, uh, then, uh, my sister brought our four-year-old in, and he kind of laid down and took a nap with us. And, uh, so, you know, we had to be up by a certain time to get over to the little Verbo house that my sister got or where we were staying. And me and my wife, we got up when the alarm went off and all of that. But four-year-old was still sleeping. And uh, if you haven't figured out where this goes, big nephew goes into the room looking for his mom or to see who's in there or whatever. About the time four-year-old wakes up, and, uh, um, 
he uh, did not uh, take to uh, seeing his cousin like that. Um, so, uh, he, uh, didn't like his cousin after that. Um, it, it, it was a little rough, I guess. Carrots, some potatoes. Then we need a couple of tomatoes. I think I did too many broccoli. We're probably going to be inundated with broccoli. But that's okay. <laughs> We got two potatoes, so yeah. I don't remember farming or seed packing giving us uh, so many seeds there. I thought we were only getting to get like two or three plots out of a bag of seeds. Oh well. But we have our farm done. That's good. You know what? Let's go up and check our jig out. Uh, 67 fuel, so we're good. Um, need to figure out where some of these outside lights are. Okay, so yeah, now he just does not like his cousin one bit, you know, it's kind of our fault in a way, um, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, let's see, before we do that, let's go put up all the seeds and everything. those up. Uh, where are we putting? Okay. Count baggage over here, so I'll drop the worms in there also. Put that in there. Plenty of water. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of uh, stuff in here. We need to drop off a lot of food hey there's one of the magazines we were missing <laughs> oh look at that it stopped raining go figure okay let's see we'll put nails in there Garbage bags. What? <laughs> Our shelf is full. Um, what can we take out of here? Uh, one of these things here just doesn't belong. Um, do that. Now we should be able to put those in there. Actually, yeah, there's a couple things in here. Um, comic books, put that in here as stuff to read. Okay.
Where are we at on food space in here? Sorry about that. You know, after traveling through 10 different states, I guess your uh, allergies will get to you. So, yeah, you know, we got my nephew uh, graduated from high school. Whoop, just knocked the crap out of my mic. Um, and then uh, after the... Uh, uh, graduation was over and we did the little uh, get together with uh, the family there uh, which one is it there it is yeah we don't really need any more of those um, but after that we left and then drove the five hours down to my oldest son Drove down to his place now that he is back stateside, which we are super excited about. Um, somebody just had a bad time. Alright. So we've cleaned that out. Got a couple things in here. We are actually going to Put coffee up here on the counter, I think. Okay. Alright, now. We will do that. Eat that, grab it. Another one for later. Put that in our bag. Put the bowl back over here. Okay. our carpentry at um so we're at six need one more level <coughs> um but after we drove down and did that we got to spend you know some good quality time okay it's still raining good Got to spend good quality time with him and his brother. I mean, those two were practically attached at the hip. Um, let's see. Thirsty. Thirsty. Oh. Still raining, so it'll get its uh, fill of water. All right, what other things did we want to do? Car seats. Oh yeah, the generator for the gas station. We need to go drop that off. Let's go do that, shall we? Okay. Off to the gas station. So we can power that and have our gas. And it's a rather large gas station, so... That's a good thing. We will not have any issues 
of running out of gas for a while. As big as this gas station is. Thank you, Juan. Let's see, where is it? There we are. See anyone around? Uh, where is it? There we go. Drop that right here. Connect. gas can grab the two empties I'm gonna add fuel then we're gonna fill up our empties here and I know it's not gonna be at a hundred percent fuel but this is the gas station we aren't gonna need a whole lot of uh, um, gas over here so Turn on. There we go. Now I'm not going to fast forward these gas can fill ups. Because I seem to remember. Uh, Said fill all. There are three, or should be. Alright. Now all our gas cans are back full. Come down here. Turn off the Jenny. All right. I'm just going to smoke out of the glove box here. One thing I want to do is take a look at our map here. So we are over here, and there's that big lake down here. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to secure this area over here, and then we can build us a little fishing shack and move all of our fishing stuff down here. But this way we can fish. Yeah. So let's see if we can't get a bit of a head start on uh, getting that area secured down here. Another watch. Uh, 
Another watch. That's right. Y'all just keep on coming. Wow, that's a lot of watches from down here. Speaking of which... Hey! We do have electrical. So we don't even, uh... have to do this. We can just do them as we go. How awesome is that now? Oh, wait. Forgot to leave that frying pan and trowel at home. Whoops. We're gonna yell like a madman. Because <laughs> we want this area completely clear and zombie free. I feel like we've been in there before. Uh, pretty easy. <laughs> Have we uh, worked on clearing this area before and I just didn't remember? Uh, I mean, I don't honestly remember trying to clear out this area. I really don't. store there. No, the door was open, right? Stupid zombies.
Uh, what is this place? Music studio? You know, I don't think I've ever been in here before. I'll be honest. Soundboards? Okay, that's cool. And I love the wall here. Massive drum sets. Were these some original creation assets, or did you actually find these one? I gotta know. Let's see, what's down this way? Anything? No. What's out this door here? <laughs> it's a storage room. Wow. That is a really good crowbar. Don't need any of that. Alright, so that is a sound studio there. Let's see, did Homeboy ever make it out of here? No. He broke that window. Let's see, did you give me a key? Antibiotics. We'll take those. Top off the canteen. All right. What just happened there? Um, we'll go blue. fish. We will make our fishing spot right there. So. Spiffo's van. This bridge. No, oh, wait. It's up a couple more blocks. Okay. 
We're on the right street, though. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. All right, here's our neighborhood. Whoop. Guess I cut that a little too tight. Actually, we are getting a little hungry here. And we got another one in the fridge here. Uh, I guess it helps if you actually look in the fridge, though. Now when you take our building materials with us, when we go back over to that fishing spot. But... We... Are about to do some... Working on our electrical... Dismantle... All 37 watches, please. And we will see where all of this electrical XP takes us. Because we're going to need it if we are going to be able to hotwire vehicles that we come across. That look nice. But have no key. Hey, there's electrical one. Looky there. Dismantle that. Alright. Now we can come back over to here. Put all that scrap away. Whew. <laughs> we got some scrap now. Okay. And let's see. It's getting a little on the late side. Uh... We need the watering can, because I don't think there was enough water that fell. Well, power may have gone out, but we still have water for today. And of course, now that I say that, watch tomorrow be uh, the end of it. Let's go see if our uh, crops got enough water. Well watered. Okay, so we are good there. All right. Put that right there. Oh. And you know what I'm going to do? We're going to come up here, grab a few nails, and 
There we go. That many will do. Oh, wait. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, 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 well. <laughs> okay. Put all of those in there, and then. That's so hard to do for me. Yes, yes, it was. All right, we got some planks over here already. Let's see, do do do. All these planks. Two marine collector barrels over here by our farming for collecting water that we can use to water our crops. That's a great idea, isn't it? All right. Well, it just turned midnight. Let's see, how are we? Still have four here. I'll drop all that. Oh, forgot to close the door. Rookie mistake. Um, let's see. Get that crowbar in there. do it for this episode guys um so we kind of secured the uh uh fishing spot we got our crops planted and now um in the next episode we are going to go down and actually get us our little fishing hut and uh move all of our fishing gear down over there um, so we're going to need the axe for cutting down the trees. We've got our saw. We're going to need nails because we've got to build up our little shack. It's not going to be anything too elaborate. Maybe two by two or three by three little shack. Just somewhere to go and um, basically put all of our fishing gear Um in between fishing runs. 
that's the main thing. Um, so we'll do that in the next episode. Maybe actually do a little fishing. Um, and as you know, the best times for fishing in real life and in the game is uh, sunrise and sunset. That's when fish are going to be most active and you'll do probably have more luck catching fish. So hopefully we can have everything all set up and actually do some fishing by tomorrow afternoon game time that is tomorrow but guys if you did enjoy today's episode please hit that thumbs up and if you're new here why don't you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that bell icon so you get notified every time i drop a new video and if you got any comments tips or tricks or anything you see i could possibly work on trying to do better let me know down in the comments section <laughs> And guys, if you know of any veterans, friends, family, co-workers, someone you met at a bar, whatever, stop, check on them, call them, let them know you're thinking about them and that you're there for them. You very well could be saving a life because 22 a day is way too many to lose. But until next time, guys, have a great day. Goodbye.